morning, friends. Pete Estabrook here. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about getting started on practicing your scales and chords in a jazz context. So the first thing that I want to suggest is that we consider practicing our scales and chords on some location other than downbeats. My main reasoning for this is that downbeats are actually targets rather than starting points. So, by practicing scales and chords either before downbeats or after downbeats, um, we're reorienting ourselves in terms of the rhythmic matrix that's underneath us. So by beginning to reprogram our thinking and the way we hear, that will slowly work its way into our improvised solos. So, in similar fashion and with similar reasoning for reorienting the rhythmic placement of our scales, we probably also want to reorient our articulation so that it reflects more of a jazz articulation in the way that we might improvise a line or play a, a written jazz chart. So by doing these two things, we're reprogramming ourselves at a fundamental level, and that will slowly work its way into our consciousness and become more and more a part of us, and therefore more and more automatic. Another suggestion that I have regarding uh, chords and scales practice is to do that with some drum tracks. Uh, those are available online on YouTube and other locations. Also, you might consider using a metronome. In either case, uh, you want to consider tapping your foot along with the drum tracks or the metronome on counts two and four. This will help you to orient yourself towards the rhythmic matrix that's in the rhythm section accompanying you. My experience as a teacher, um, changing these few things, the rhythmic placement of the scale, the articulation of the scale, and the tapping of the foot on two and four as opposed to all four beats or one and three, really helps a student reprogram what's going on with their body and their consciousness and helps to direct them more towards what seems appropriate, at least to me, in the jazz idiom. So the following are a series of examples, musical and written, where you'll see uh, my recommendations for how to articulate and rhythmically place the scales and chords. Bye. 
And although I'm providing these examples in a single key, the idea is that you do this in 12 keys, hopefully by memory eventually. Of course, there are other articulation and rhythmic possibilities which you can explore over time. This is simply a guide to get you started. And additionally, the examples I'm providing here are following the circle of force, which is very common. However, you can practice those in any uh, root movement pattern, up and down by half steps, up and down by whole steps, up and down by minor thirds, up and down by major thirds, around the circle of fifths, etc. And finally, although the examples here are given in the major keys, major seven chord and major scale, you can, of course, apply these models to any and all scale possibilities. Of course, um, students should practice scales from all different degrees in all different directions, as well as chords. Um, in like fashion. Obviously the introductory materials here are indicating that we should start from the root, going up, etc. So we want to begin from the third, the fifth, the seventh, etc. And of course, those alternative approaches to this methodology will be covered in a future video. The possibility of working on scales in various patterns and or as they apply to 2-5-1s or other progressions will be covered in other videos.